Hey, hey everyone. everyone! So we've been gone for a while. It's been a couple of weeks since we last posted. Kara kind of got sick. I had some dentist stuff, and you've been working. He's been I had working work late, last early, ridiculous. Yeah. But yeah, but we are back today. Um, and we have finally found Reigns of Paradise. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so we can finally continue on with making our herb blends, and then. Do some cooking. Recipes, some actual, yeah. exactly, some actual cooking. So we actually uh, had a friend of yours tell us about this spice store. It in, was under our nose the whole time. In downtown Wilmington called Cape Fear Spice Merchants. And I went down there and I went straight to the, one of the ladies that was working. I was like, do you have grains of paradise? And she was like, yeah. And so she took me there. They sell them by the ounce. It was like nine or eight or nine bucks. I can't wait to grind this and see what it smells yeah. like. Yeah. So we actually found them, and yeah. So we're gonna make up the spices. We have three different kinds. We got to make up today. We what do. Kind? We have. Let's take a look at them. Actually, we've got Nord spices, Stormcloak seasoning, and Imperial seasonings. Now, um. These three different herb blends are very different from each other. Um, just about every single recipe in the book calls for at least one of them. Um, and that's why we are beginning with the, the herb blend. Um, but these spices can be used from anything for drinks, baking, desserts. Um, I do believe the like the Nord Spice is more of like a warm, like cinnamon, um, brown sugar, stuff like that. All right, so yeah, so we're gonna make up these spices real quick and show you guys how it's done. And then... And as you can actually see before we continue, we had to, there's a lot of different herbs and spices. spices. It did take quite a while to find everything that we had to find and we had to go, I want to say including the spice merchant shop, um, we went to food four bar, different places. Paris Teeter. Yeah, four different places. Um, I even looked at Whole Foods for some things, thinking they'll have everything, and they didn't. No. So. And some stuff's already pre-ground. Some of the stuff we've got yeah, to grind three, ourselves. We did actually go and we got a, a spice of coffee grinder um, for these. I think you picked that up at Walmart, didn't you? Yeah, I found that um, at Walmart. <laughs> but um, so we do have to grind these up before we can actually start. But that's I think what we're gonna do now. Yep, so. you already to make some yeah, spices. Let's start. <laughs> let's do it. We are actually going to start by making the Nord spices. This warming blend of spices brings to life any cold weather recipe you include it in. The warmth of the cardamom and cinnamon is balanced by the bite of the mace clove and the grains of paradise, making it a solid addition to any dessert, baking, or hot drinks. We're going to need one and one half tablespoons of ground cardamom. 3 fourths teaspoon ground cinnamon, 1 fourth teaspoon ground mace, 1 fourth teaspoon ground cloves, and 1 eighth of a teaspoon of ground grains of paradise. To start with 1 and 1 half tablespoons of ground cardamom. Next, we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of, or excuse me, three fourths teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So this one I am eyeballing just because I don't have three fourths of a teaspoon. So I'm gonna try, I think, I think that's kind of close to it, just eyeballing it. Then we're going to be doing one fourth of a teaspoon of ground mace. One fourth of a teaspoon of ground clove. Mm -hmm. 
then last but not least, we have one eighth of a teaspoon of ground grains of paradise. I can't, I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but I really, if we only need a pinch. Let's see what it does. I think I did good with the no, I think I did good. That's about a pinch, I think. Perfect. You did good. Ooh. Does it smell like? I can't describe it, it's very different. So the powder doesn't have much of a taste at all, but it's spicy. says just to mix, but to save the bowl. We did it, our first spice. So just to let you guys know, if you follow the recipe, mm. this is how much it is going to make. So I think essentially we would have to repeat that about three times. Oh, <laughs> mm. spicy sneezies. <laughs> it is, I'll say that's a pepper sneeze. So that is our Nord Spice. Nord Spice. Next, we have our Storm Cloak seasoning. This is one of the most popular seasoning mixes across the breadth of Skyrim, where nearly every garden boasts a little corner dedicated to growing most of these ingredients. The grains of paradise are imported, and if the cost is too dear, ordinary black pepper can be substituted. It makes for a mixture that goes well with vegetables, fish, meat, and savory baking. For the Storm Cloak seasoning, we'll need two teaspoons of dried dill, a half a teaspoon of grains of paradise, one teaspoon mustard powder, and two teaspoons fennel seeds. All right, so now we're doing the Storm Cloak seasoning, and Kara is pre-preparing, but we have to grind. We've got grains of paradise. We're going to be using two teaspoons of dried dill weed. Dill weed. Dill weed. So we've got one. I'm really, really excited about this one. We love dill in this house. We also love mustard in this house. All right. Look at the colors. Next. Two teaspoons of fennel seeds. And I was noticing some of their fennel seeds are still whole. So as I'm pulsating, I might try, ooh, that rubbed every word that. As I'm grinding this, I might try to leave a couple of them whole. It smells so great. And then we have one teaspoon of mustard powder. And that smells so good. And we're gonna put the lid on. I think that's good. Mm. Yeah, I think that's good. Ooh. I think I grinded ours a little too much. I see how this would be like really good for all uh, vegetables, fish, and like chickens. Chickens. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells so great. 
compare ours to the picture. I definitely grinded it a little too much. I should have left Hold it. it like oh. I should have left it. Um, I should have like maybe just pulsated it just like a couple times. So we have our second seasoning. You guys can see they all make about the same amount. I think there's a little bit more yeah. of that one. But yeah. Last but not least, we have our Imperial seasoning. Brought by Imperial troops and the regiment cooks, this mix has put down roots and is gaining in popularity in Skyrim, even if the Imperials themselves are not. It's a unique combination of savory flavors and bright citrus profiles lent by the coriander, and it's delicious on vegetables and fish. For this, we will need three teaspoons of dried marjoram, three teaspoons of dried savory, one teaspoon of coriander seeds, and a half a teaspoon of white pepper. So next we're gonna be grinding up three Excuse me guys, one fourth teaspoon of white ground pepper and one teaspoon of coriander seeds. White pepper. And then we're gonna need one teaspoon of coriander. Okay, it looks to be pretty. Next, ooh, that smells great. Can you smell it? Mm -hmm. Next, we're gonna be putting in three teaspoons of dried marjoram. What do you see back there, lady? Three teaspoons of dried savory. That smells great. I feel like this is the one that's really good for veggies and fish, but I actually feel like this would like be good on um, Mexican dishes. I feel like this would be good on like quesadillas. our imperial seasonings. I think we did a better job. It's gonna take some practice, I think, being able to get the consistencies right. I'm really excited to use these. We did it. We finally have our three spices. Spices, yep. Spices, seasonings, and condiments, even though we didn't get into condiments today. But there are. <laughs> There's a mustard sauce we eventually are gonna be making. I'm excited about that too. Which do you think is your favorite? Sniff them again if you need yeah. to. Like, they're all so different. I, I mean, they're. It's very hard to compare them. I don't know. I actually think the Imperial or even the Stormcloak. I definitely. So this one reminds me of Christmas. Yeah. This this is the Nord spices. It's very like warm. It's got the cinnamon and the cardamom, the clove in it. Yeah, I get. What you, do you know what Russian tea is? Yes. This really reminds me of, it that. doesn't smell just like Russian tea, but it reminds me a lot of Russian tea. But I know there's clove in Russian tea, I think, but, but yeah. And then this one is really good. That is the Stormcloak seasonings. That has the dried dill, the grains of paradise, the fennel, and the mustard powder. Yeah. This is the one that I was originally really, and I'm, I really feel like on some baked chicken, this would be amazing. I'm really, really excited. 
Yeah, the dill is really strong in that one. I love that. And then this one's, I think, my favorite. This is the imperial seasoning. Now, this has the dried marjoram, the dried savory, the coriander, and the white pepper. Yeah. I feel like, and it does say that this is delicious on vegetables and fish. I feel like this would like be good on a steak. Like, <laughs> it's perfect. It smells great. Yeah. It's almost very. It almost smells like I don't want to say it smells like quesadillas, but if there's a spice in like there, a, a Spanish. That re yes, that reminds me of Mexican. Mexican food, or I don't, it's very, this one actually might be my favorite. I think that one is my favorite. I mean, and I pick up what, because when they said it has like citrusy notes, and it was like, what? And But you do pick up on that. That's crazy. I, I mean, this has been a long journey. We have actually. We've been searching for this stuff for how long now? It's been a month, over a month over since a month. we originally had started to do this. And then we didn't bring the grains of paradise over well, here. But, get the grains, but you keep talking. For <laughs> but those. yeah, but but since because we couldn't find the grains of paradise, that's what took so long. And like I said, it was right under our noses the whole time. Yes. Um, but <laughs> these, these spices have here. been a long, long time coming. And for what we actually needed. This is gonna last us a long time. That is gonna really, I mean, <laughs> we used not even a pinch, an entire, no, we used it in two different ones, yes. but we, I don't think we used a whole two tape, maybe even one whole tablespoon. I don't think we used one whole tablespoon. So I will say if you do go and you have to buy it by the ounce as we did, it is very much worth your money, so. This was a lot of fun, and now, like we said, we get to finally start cooking some of the other so meals. Vegas again, sorry we were gone for so long. We're back. Like. We're going to be filming a bunch of different things, and as always, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.